Hello, welcome back to Arnav's channel. Today we're going to be viewing some facts about Cinco de Mayo. And also remember to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to never miss an update on Arnav's channel. Also, sorry, also, if what do you want my next video to be about? Comment below. Thank you. Now, let's get started. Cinco de Mayo. The 5th of May is a holiday that celebrates the day of the Mexican's army. May 5th, 1862, victory over France at the Battle of Puebla during the Franco-Mexican War. That day, which falls on Tuesday, May 5th in 2020, is also known as Battle of Pupla Day. While it is a relatively minor holiday in Mexico, in the United States, Cinco de Mayo has evolved in a commemoration commemoration in the United States in states. Cinco de has evolved into a combination of Mexican culture and heritage, particularly in large Mexican American populations. Oh, by the way, sorry I am trying to pronounce these words and I don't know how to. Okay, that was fact number one. There are five facts I will tell you. Number two. Certain success that would come swiftly. 6,000 French troops under General Charles Latre de Lawrence set up an attack to Puebla de los Angeles a small town in the east central Mexico. From his new headquarters in North Juarez, ended up a ragtag of force of 2,000 royal men and many either indigenous Mexicans or mixed ancestry sent them to Puebla. The vastly outnumbered and poorly supplied Mexicans, led by Texas born General in Genagno Zaragoza, forfilled the town and prepared for the supported by heavily artery before the city of Puebla led an assault. That is fact number two. Okay, please ignore the background. My parents, I told them no screaming, no talking, no sounds. But apparently they make sounds during my video. I don't know if, oh, they're really loud. I can hear them with the dishes. I don't know if it's the dishes, cause they're downstairs, and I can't see downstairs through upstairs. Okay. So, number three. The battle lasted from daybreak to early evening, when the French finally retreated and lost nearly 500 soldiers. Fewer than 100 Mexicans have been killed in the clash. 
Although not a major strategic when the overall war against French, Zaragoza's success at the Battle of Puebla on May 5th represented a great symbolic victory for the Mexican government and bolstered the residents' movement. In 1867, thanks to part in our military support and our pressage from the United States, which was finally in position to aid its besieged neighbor after the end of the Civil War, France finally withdrew. The same year, Australian Arctic and Farron Maxipon, who had been installed as the emperor of 1862 by Napoleon, was captured and executed by George's forces. Pablo Pupa de Los Angeles was renamed for General Garzoka, who died of typhoid fever months after his historic triumph here. That is number three. Next up is number four. If you're not enjoying this, click the thumbs down button. Not twice though. That may get a good idea to you, but please don't. Seriously. Okay. Number four. In the United States, Cinco de Mayo is widely interpreted as a celebration of Mexican culture and heritage, particularly in areas with substantial Mexican-American populations. Chincano activists raised awareness of victory in the 1960s, in part because they identified the victory of indigenous Mexicans, such as Dolores, over European invaders during the Battle of Puebla. Today, relevers mark the occasion with parades, parties, marchy music, Mexican folk dancing, and traditional foods such as tacos and mole poplon. Some of the largest festivals are held in Los Angeles, Chicago, and Houston. Now, number five. Many people outside Mexico mistakenly believe that Cinco de Mayo is a celebration of Mexican independence, which is declared more than 50 years before the Battle of Puebla. Independence Day in Mexico, Dia de Independence. Dia de la Independencia is promoted on September 16th. Did you hear that sound? That was just an email. If you didn't, okay. The anniversary of revolutionary prices, Miguel Hidalgo y Gosli's famous Grito de Clores cry of Dorlos, a call of arms that amounted to declaration war against the Spanish government in 1810. Now, thank you for watching this. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye!